McMary's test meniscal tear. McMary's test is a commonly used test in orthopedic examination to test for tears of the meniscus. The McMary's test is a rotational maneuver of the knee that we use frequently in our examination of the patient to help in the diagnosis of meniscal tears. Meniscal injuries are very common. And there is a picture of a normal meniscus and a picture of an injured meniscus, medial and lateral injured meniscus. When the patient sustain an injury of the knee and have a meniscal tear, usually the patient complains of knee pain localized to the medial side or to the lateral side of the knee. The patient may also have locking, clicking. Sometimes the patient will have an effusion. Sometimes the effusion is a small one. Effusion means swelling of the knee. Examination of the patient will show a joint line tenderness, and that is the most sensitive finding. The joint line tenderness can be on the medial side if there is a medial meniscal tear and can be on the lateral side if there is a lateral meniscal tear. You may find minimal swelling of the knee and you may find an extension lag, which means the knee is locked due to a displaced bucket handle tear of the meniscus. Pain at a higher level than the joint is usually associated with medial collateral ligament tear. Here is the joint line, and here is where you will find the meniscal tear if you have tenderness at that level. Above it, medially, if you have tenderness there, then you probably have medial collateral ligament tear, which is usually injured and evolved from the medial femoral condyle. The medial collateral ligament is rarely evolved from the tibia. Pain at a lower level is usually associated with the pis and serine bursitis. So what is the McMurray's test? McMurray's test is a knee examination test that shows pain or a painful click at the knee is brought from flexion to extension with either internal or external rotation of the knee. How do you do the test? The McMurray's test uses the tibia to trap the meniscus between the femoral condyles of the femur and the tibia. So when performing the McMurray's test, the patient should be lying supine with the knee flexed or hyperflexed. The examiner then grasps the patient's heel with one hand and places the other hand over the knee joint. To test the medial meniscus, the knee is fully flexed and the examiner then passively externally rotates the tibia and places a valgus force. The knee is then extended in order to test the medial meniscus. To test the lateral meniscus, the examiner passively internally rotates the tibia and places a varus force. The knee is then extended in order to test the lateral meniscus. A positive test is indicated by pain, clicking, or popping within the knee joint and may signal a tear of either the medial or the lateral meniscus when the knee is brought from flexion to extension. How reliable is the McMurray's test? There are mixed reviews for the validity of this test. There are other clinical tests that are as good as McMurray's test. However, MRI is making the diagnosis of a meniscal tear easier. MRI is very sensitive 
It also excludes other associated injuries. I found the McMurray's test valuable in getting an approval of the MRI. So if you state that McMurray's test is positive, the insurance will approve the MRI. But nowadays, McMurray's test does not give us a lot of valuable clinical information because we get the information by other tests. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.